Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today we're bringing you along as my son is going to take over and cook his version of street tacos. The grill is very hot. You still want it on high? Yeah. And the last time that we did, and I can't say the word correctly, corn tortillas, um, we had problems with them and someone suggested for me to put a little pan of oil dip it in the oil and then heat them up real quick and that's what we're going to try to do what no, no you yeah. turn that one off well this i'm going to turn down this is where we'll heat up the corn things at and we're going to add a pack of carne piccata meat and the soda. show the label oh yeah each of them all right Real. You didn't want to add no oil or nothing? No. We're going to add a little adobo seasoning. And that's really all we're going to add because the, the flavor is going to come from the cilantro and the lime and the salsa. And while we're cooking, bear it back. Add your meat browns and keep stirring it, chopping it up. And we still have that side on high. This side over here is on low. And I'm about to get started on these. Alright, these are real little teeny tiny taco racks. When I ordered them, I got the wrong size or the wrong ones or something, but we're still going to try to make it work because the corn shells are small too. So I'm just going to set them directly on the griddle. Okay, I've got this side on as low as it'll go. I'm going to do a couple of them just to see how it goes. That can kind of zoom me up. I've got just a little tin pan. Maybe they'll fit down in there. this works, next time I'll get a bigger one. <laughs> I'm going to do just a couple of them like this and do the rest. Just heat them up with a little oil. Well, you already got oil left on that. I know, that. I see it. Add just a little more adobo to this. Stick it down in my rack like that. But they do feel softer than the last time. Remember, they was hard. Yeah. As brick. Well, you got anywhere to put the uh, meat into? No, you gotta go get one of them throw away pans. Think this side. Oop, oop. Can't use that one. And the meat looks done. And the meat, and the meat is done, so we're gonna take it up. Just hold the pan. Well, I suggest holding it over here. And just keep it warm right till we get the shells ready. We're gonna assemble the street tacos now. You're gonna take your corn tortilla. It was very imperative that you use raw, finely chopped onion. And then you add just a little bit of cilantro. And then you take a little bit of lime juice. And drip a little bit over the top. I did buy a fresh lime, but he didn't want to use it. <laughs> and then you take a little bit of your 
favorite taco sauce of choosing. You take a little bit. You can take. And you just top it up on top. Now, let me tell you how I ate mine. Just hold on, I gotta take the picture. Okay, we can't see it, but. I don't really like cilantro, so I put the meat on there, a little bit of the onion, and I made some guacamole and diced some tomatoes, and that's how I eat mine. But we'll be right back, and Alex is going to try a bite. Go. And now we're going to take a bite. Oh, this just is delicious. Oh, this just is delicious as a regular, authentic street taco. Put it in the tray. Now, how is the corn shells like? Are they a little greasy? The corn shells are nice and soft and very well done. Well, we'll continue to do them that way. I'll just get a bigger pan. Thanks for whoever suggested that. Here's the ones that we did that I just threw on there with some oil, and they're really soft, too. So they're not hard like they was the last time we made them. So thanks for watching. There'll be some links down below with some of the products that we use. If you like this video and you if you like my son cooking please give us a thumbs up leave him a nice comment and maybe he'll do some more videos and until my next video i hope you enjoy bye y'all